Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss friend function. This is newly introduced concept in C++. So friend function in C++, that is a friend of a given class, which is allowed to access private and protected data members of that particular class. As we all know that private data members are not allowed to access outside the class, but using friend function, we can access that private data members as well. And it is just like a regular function, just you need to prefix that regular function with friend keyword. So let us discuss how friend function works and what is need of friend function. Suppose we are having two class, class A and class B, both having private members like num A and num B and one member function set A that will be assigning some value to num A, set B that will be assigning some value to num B. Now there is a requirement to add num a and num b. So I'm making one function named add. Inside that I want to access private member num a of class a, private member num b of class b. So how to access this private data members in single function? So it is possible using friend function. You need to declare this method in both the class here i have declared void add void add but i have prefixed both declaration with friend keyword so this is just the introduction of friend function now let us discuss how it works and what are the behavior of friend function friend function can be declared either in public or private part of the class it is not member of class so it cannot be called using object so to invoke the friend function there is no need to create object of that class and usually it is objects as argument friend function definitely will hold some object as argument so let us write code to understand this concept in detail so here we are having class demo inside that i am creating num1 and num2 by default these two will be private public member functions will be like let's say I'm creating one parameterized constructor to initialize values of integer num1 and num2 it will be initialized with value of x num2 will be initialized with value of y and I'm creating one object let's say d1 with argument 10 and 20 so whenever you create this object d1 it will pass 10 to x 20 to y and it will be assigned to num1 and num2 now suppose i want to add these two number i'm writing one regular function add so void it is part of class demo and add i'm writing function definition outside the class and i'm displaying addition of num1 and num2 variables so if i call function d1 dot add over here it will be printing addition of num1 and num2 let us compile and execute this code it will be 30 now suppose if i want to make this function as friend function i'm just writing keyword friend before the function declaration here friend function is not a member of the class so it cannot be called using object friend function is not member of class so no need to specify here class name and scope resolution operator and we need not call using this object now i want to access num1 and num2 then i need to pass object over here d1 so argument will be of type demo let's say z here demo so it will be z1 z dot num1 and z dot num2 because if we don't pass here object then how to get num1 and num2 because it is not part of a class so let us compile and execute this code it will be again 30 so friend function can be declared either in private section or public section friend function is not member of class 
so you can invoke it without creating any object and third is usually it contains objects as arguments so here we have passed argument d1 that is object of a class let us write another program for friend function suppose i am creating class a inside that i am having one variable num a in public section i am creating one parameterized constructor to initialize value of num a variable with x over here same way i am creating another class that is b inside that i am having private member num b and writing one parameterized constructor b that will be used to initialize value of num b now i am creating object for both the class here object 1 inside that i am passing argument 10 object 4 class b that is object 2 and i am passing 20 so whenever i execute program it will create one object 1 of class a as you create one object it will immediately call constructor of class a and assign value to num a in next line you are creating object 2 of class b it will immediately execute the constructor and it will assign value y to variable b now suppose i want to add num a and num b so i need to write one friend function that will add the values of num a and num b now num a is a member of class a num b is member of class b so we need to pass object of both the class so right now i am writing name of class a and name of class b over here because we are supposed to pass object of both class and same declaration is to be written over here now let us write the definition for that void add object of class a and b object of class b through object of class a i can access num a and through object of class b i can access num b and i am performing addition and displaying in cout now i am calling function add inside that i am passing object 1 that is object of class a and object 2 that is object of class b so as we have seen that normally friend function takes objects as argument because friend function is supposed to access private member of different classes let us compile and execute this code it is throwing some error because we have used over here class b but class b is still not introduced before this declaration so we need to write class b as forward declaration now i can use class b in this friend function declaration so you are supposed to write class name then semicolon before using it this is called forward declaration in the case when you are using multiple classes and before declaring it you are using its name then you need to write forward declaration now i am compiling the code it will be displaying the answer third this is the behavior of friend function thank you